Chicken today! <laughs> Mm. What day is it, mate? My birthday. First birthday on the road? Mm. A little bit excited, aren't you? You were up pretty early. <laughs> oh, open your presents, mate. Wow! Wait, what is it? Yeah, for the big one. You don't need batteries, that one charges up. Is it charged? Uh, probably not. But we'll have to ditch your little one, the little Lambo. Yes. So one in, one out. Not the Lamborghini. Yep. That one doesn't go fast. Well, it does. So we have a rule in the van, is when they get a new toy or something, they got to get rid of an older one. And we give it away to some kids that will probably use it themselves. That way we don't just keep getting piled up with too much stuff in here, eh? So you happy, mate? Yes. Good birthday? Yes. So what are we doing? What are we doing for brekkie to start off your day? Ice cream on pancakes. Yeah, alrighty. Choc chip pancakes with ice cream. And then he's picked, what do you pick? Party pies and sausage, sausage rolls, rolls for lunch. lunch. And dinner's going to be, what is it? The sausage thing. Sausage, sausage pasta. pasta. We've got a, a cracking day by the looks of it. It is still as out there, and the sun is shining. It's going to be a good day. Oh, and we're moving today as well, so we'll show you the new place that we end up. It's going to be a good day. Oh, what's the other thing we're doing? What's the main thing we're doing today? We're going to drive... On sand dunes! Uh, we're going to go check out the sand dunes in the National Park here. That's going to be cool. Anyway, better start these pancakes. Check out the day that we have ahead of us, eh? Look at this. That is just amazing. This place is awesome. All right, pancakes on the road. Simplest mix. I'll come back with my racing car. One cup of self-raising flour, one cup of milk, and one egg. That's it. So easy. And today, with the pancakes, we've got a special request from the birthday boy. Choc chips going in. We don't normally do that, but what the hell. It's only one day. How is it, mate? Great. Good brekkie for your birthday. Got your new present, your remote control car, mate? Yeah. Go on, show us how it goes. Oh. And it can move It's got good suspension. Hey, that one's heaps better for driving on campsites, isn't it? Yeah. Your last one was a Lamborghini. It was no good in places like this. Oh, well. Have fun, mate. Hi, Alrighty, so it's moving day. So <laughs> we're all hooked up, and um, I'll take you to this new spot and show you. It's pretty good, eh? <laughs>
<laughs> yep. So, the reason why we picked up and moved 100 metres, not even that, we decided with Asher and Adam, the Joneses, they were going to stay another night. So we said, stuff it, we'll stay here another night as well. Because Toby's birthday today. Yeah. We really want to be driving for his birthday. Yeah, so we thought, bugger it, we'll get another site. Looked online and ours was taken for tonight. So <laughs> we literally got <laughs> we the one across the road. <laughs> and uh, But all good. We're all done now. It's the quickest pack up and setup we've ever had. Mm, especially when you can just move with your awning and all the washing and everything mm. attached. <laughs> But hey, um, yeah, we'll do a few family phone calls for Toby's birthday and then we'll get on the road and go have some fun. Straight in, mate. Just let it straight down. Beautiful. Just Look got at that. This, just got yourself a tinny. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> I don't know. Good times coming, that's for sure. YOLO. <laughs> Okay, so as you obviously just saw, guys, we uh, we bought a bloody tinny. Mm. Uh, was it the best decision in the world? Probably not, but uh, <laughs> it's the one we made. <laughs> That's what we do. Uh, so we've been talking about it for a while and um, how cool it would be because those the kids' kayaks we got, we can't get on them, and it's just so amazing around here with the these bays and everything. And we've been going out with mates in their tinnies, and it's just awesome. So. Funnily enough, we pulled into this campsite and uh, one that I'd already seen on Facebook Marketplace was literally just up the road. He um, was in the same campsite. How so I went, went and had a chat to him and uh, yeah, it's we were looking at plastic ones to start off with, but um, this was just a really cheap, light tinny. It's, you know, it's all we need just to go have a little, little bit of fun Fish. in the little bays. Yeah, just get out a little bit and get some squid and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Um, won't be anything like deep water, we won't be going offshore too far. Yeah. And really just for calm kind of waters. Oh yeah, but... only calm. We're not going out in anything that's... <laughs> it's hectic. like days like this where they're just picture perfect. That's that's all we're doing. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, it was cheap as chips. So what do you do when you buy a cheap as chips tinny? You go and buy a brand new motor. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, Hopefully. I don't know why. We're just doing it. It's yeah. reliability and uh, yeah, it's we, there's not many second handies for sale at the moment. I've been looking around. Well, there's not even very many brand new ones for sale. No, no. A lot of places are struggling to even get them in. So we got the tinny this morning and we're going to rip into town, Port Lincoln and pick up a motor. And, uh, and then yeah. sort out how in the world we're going to store all of this. And... Yeah. Oh, so obviously people are going to be thinking, yeah, that's more weight. So we're going to be... We've been culling stuff along the road as we go anyway, but um, obviously the kayaks are going to be gone. They're 20-something kilos for the two of them. And then, um, yeah, just going to ditch a lot of stuff, simplify some things. Yeah. Because, it's, you know, boating life. That's what you do. <laughs> Priorities. Anyway, are we silly? Yeah. Do we care? Yeah, but... We do. Whatever. Well, yeah. <laughs> we do, but we hope that it's... Yeah, we get some fun out of it and we figure we can always we sell it when we're done and that's right even if you lose a little bit of money you had fun in the meantime that's right i'll tell you what we're bloody crazy aren't we <laughs> We've just ripped in and picked up this little six horsepower. <laughs> Struggling to no, get it in yeah, the car. No space for it. Oh no. Why do we do these things to ourselves? Because we want a boat. <laughs> That's why. That, it's going to be worth it. We've got a fair bit of juggling to sort out. Oh yes. man. I can see we'll be having a quiet holidays. <laughs> oh while no. we sort this out. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> well, that's an absolute bummer. Mm. We are not doing the sand dunes because there's a planned burn going on. If we had have looked into it better, we would have realised that, but we were mucking around buying boats. <laughs> so. Can I get Sorry, Jones fam. We've, uh, yeah. 
around a little bit too much and ruined everyone's plans. <laughs> no matter. We'll, we'll go over to um, September Beach now. Apparently that's quite nice. We're going to have a little uh, beach I afternoon. Think we're yep. Yeah. All right. So we've come down to September Beach, and it's another stunner in the Lincoln National Park. I feel like every beach around here is a stunner. Alex is just cooking some party pies and sausage rolls. That was Toby's request for lunch. So he's just cooking them in the air fryer up at the car. Gonna bring them down for the kids to eat. And yeah, we'll just spend the Arvo fishing and swimming and hanging out here. Going, birthday boy good show us your face give us a look <laughs> you got tomato sauce everywhere mate did you like your lunch yes that's awesome you're stoked with his lunch so we just chucked in the party pies and the sausage rolls into the um the air fryer i've been thinking about getting rid of that thing it's one of those items that you only use every now and then but when you do use it it is bloody great but you're saying that at the same time it uses a lot of battery so I don't know, we might might get rid of it and just simplify things a little bit. But yeah, down the beach, cook them up. Kids are happy. Everything's good. The tinny is on. That thing is so light, eh? It was so easy to throw that thing on top. Uh, I'm gonna have to refine a little bit how we're strapping it down, but uh, bloody happy. Tell you what, I cannot wait to get somewhere and get it off. Even though this place is the perfect place right now. It is just so calm out there, but uh, we have to go tomorrow. So anyway, we'll get this a bit more refined, drop a bit more weight elsewhere, get rid of the kayaks. Happy days. We're boating. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Toby. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Oh, yeah. Blow them out, mate. <sighs> oh, hey. one go. You're going to have a cut? Okay. Okay, go from the center. Oh, I'm going to sleep on the bottom out of here. Boom. The with his knife. Okay, oh, turn it around. Sorry. Hold up, hold up. Kiss the closest girl. Kiss, Kiss the closest off. girl. No. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny out. then. That's yeah, the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> <mum>. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> Girls, James. You want to do that again? Go. Okay. Do you know what that is? Though? Boom. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was actually bottom of oh, That was a small piece. Mmm, yummy. Good. All right, we're all loaded up. First time with the tinny on the roof. Hopefully I've strapped it down well enough. She doesn't blow off on the road. But um, we're gonna head into Port Lincoln, offload these kayaks and get rid of a heap of stuff. So to counteract that weight, I've already pulled out a heap of things that we're just gonna get rid of and um, we should be sweet. Okay, so we've just driven into Port Drummond to check out a camp spot. Um, we had a bit of a sketchy moment, so Alex wasn't really paying enough attention and we've ended up kind of dragging the van along in a ditch. Um, very, very, very close to rolling it. Thankfully we didn't and everything in the caravan looked all good except I just opened the fridge and jars and whatnot have like smashed everywhere so I'm just going to show you the carnage and then I'm going to start cleaning it up I guess <laughs> um that'll be me for the next half an hour cleaning that up um and then we can't stay at this campsite anyway it's full so we've got probably another hour of driving or so to do it's getting on in the afternoon it's 20 past three now uh, so it'll be a late one today, I think. Hey, so Erin just told you how we just nearly rolled the van and uh, how everything was in the fridge gone. 
uh, but just to really let you know how close it was, apparently the uh, driver's side wheel of the caravan was off the ground about half a metre. So, crazy. We didn't even know it was happening because I was, I was distracted. I was looking at the beach. So, and we, we would have only been doing 30 k's an hour or something, but it was just such a big rut. But uh, yeah, little uh, little bit of a, a moment to make us realise, make me realise, pay more attention. That's probably the closest we'll ever get without actually rolling it. Hopefully. Scary moment. Touch wood. Anyway, we're all good. We're going to punch on now. It's getting late in the day, but just too windy up there on the headlands and the only decent spots are already taken, basically. So, we'll just keep driving. What are we thinking? Walkers, rocks, maybe? Yeah, it's another hour and a half away. Yeah, we don't even know. It's What is it now? Time. It's nearly four o'clock. Um, and there is Sharinga as well that I'm looking into, so... I don't know. We'll let you know where we end up. Yeah, we'll keep driving. See what happens. Right, eh? So, we ended up... What's the name of this place? Walkers Rocks. Walkers Rocks. We ended up there. It was after five o'clock when we rolled in. Well, there's not a whole lot of room here, so we've just sort of jammed ourselves in between other people. It's blowing a gale, and um, I'm in here sorting out this shit fight of a fridge because it has chili sauce everywhere, and it's awesome. <laughs> Love it. I'm loving life. Anyway, that's what happens when you nearly roll your van. Chili sauce goes all through your, your fridge. Now, in all seriousness, uh, so glad that that's all that happened, and um, we there's no damage to anything else. One jar of chili sauce, that's it. So, look, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, so, we're probably just gonna stay here for one night, see what the weather's like in the morning, and maybe just move closer to Paluby, because that's the end goal at the moment. Uh, a couple of days to be at Paluby. Might even end up there earlier and just stay there longer. Now that we've got the boat too, get that sorted out, get it in. I'm pretty excited for that. What about you? I'm keen. Can't even hear what you're saying. The boat. I'm keen. <laughs> so get to the Paluby and get the boat Definitely in. Definitely am keen for that, <laughs> yes. So the idea is we're going to have to catch the um, amount of squid that we paid for the boat. So we need about two and a half grand's worth of squid <laughs> and fish. Which... I think more about three. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, get this fridge sorted, have a bloody beer because it's been a long day. Morning everyone. So, just gonna poke our heads over the dunes here and show you the beach here at Walker's Rock. So they've got a couple, cause it's a bit of a headland. Looks pretty damn nice though. But we're sort of thinking, so the next couple of days are meant to be real windy before it dies off again. So we've got, it's uh, Monday today. We're meant to be getting to Paluby on Wednesday but we're thinking of just punching it up there now. There's gonna be masses of people coming in. We know that, because it's Easter. So yeah, we're just thinking it's not that much better here. Why not go set up on the beach and just uh, just be ready. Just chill out for a, a few days before our other friends, the other Joneses, rock up. And then yeah, maybe we get in decent spot and we can watch everyone else roll in who knows but um I'll just show you this beach looks pretty damn nice Beautiful, just either side of the headland, completely different. So the campgrounds here are just over the sand dunes behind us. You can't see the beach from the campgrounds and they're, they're just sort of, like all the other ones have been around here, they're just a bit of a gravel patch. Pretty dusty, but brand new, well not brand new, but fairly new flushing toilet in there with a change table and it's really clean, really good. So I um, guess they are doing a great job with their campgrounds, even when they're not national parks. They're just so clean and 
cheap and the facilities are great. So this area is awesome for it. All right, we've definitely made the call. We're heading off to Palubi. Yeah. We're just going to do it. We just figure <laughs> stuff it. If there's going to be a billion people there, we'll get there and be one of the earlier billion people. So we'll see. And then it gives us time to move if we decide it's just not going to happen. P.S. Cannot wait to get this tinny off. Oh, I'm so excited. So, we're just doing a little bit of a detour. We've uh, noticed that the Talia Caves are on the way to Streaky Bay, and we've been told how good they are. So we've ducked off the highway onto this dirt road. Now, it's a good dirt road. It's smooth as but it is so damn dusty. <laughs> so I've just quickly pulled over and turned the caravan on again because after we had a little clean out this morning, the last thing I want is a layer of dust in our van. So I did not want to be washing that floor again. No, nah, does your head in. Yep, it's a mission. Anyway, I'm not sure how far we actually have to drive on this road, but we'll get out there, check out these caves. see them from the road as soon as you start driving in so they look pretty impressive a bit like remarkable rocks stop in it's only a couple of k's off the highway really cool rock formations so we're gonna head into streaky bay now we use the dump point we'll uh, fill up with water again and we didn't even think about tides for Palubi to be honest we I don't know just wasn't on my radar so I just looked that up and it's literally high tide right now so we'll get into streaky we'll see whether we're gonna head out to Palubi or not or we might just head out there have a look if it's no good, head back into town and stay just at one of the low-cost camps in town. But yeah, I don't know. We've probably missed the, you know, the morning exit would have been a good time to go in and get a spot, yeah, but we've probably missed that two now. Two o'clock now. Uh, we muck so, around again. Yeah. Oh, there's things to see. Yeah. We're not in a hurry. We don't actually have to get there today. Nah, it's all good. Um, so we've still got actually two days before we need to be there, but yeah, we'll just see take it as it comes this afternoon yeah, so getting getting forced to get used to that <laughs> <laughs> no plans 